Kincaider Brewery, a new brewery in Broken Bow, Nebraska, opened last week. Owner Nate Bell says making high-quality beer is what the company will be known for. Our goal uh, at Kincaider Brewing Company is to offer uh, high-quality beer um, uh, to educate the consumer and, and let them taste all varying different types of beer styles and uh, give them an, a, a good understanding of what craft beer will make. But bottom line, we, we plan to make the best craft beer we could possibly make, uh, no matter what the style is that we, we put on the tap. Having water directly out of the sand hills to make beer is something the owners are proud of. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, a, big, it's a big deal. Um, water is the primary ingredients in beer. Um, it's, just a, it's just another thing that, that ties us to this community. Uh, and, and gives us an identity out here um, and something we're all very proud of uh, in the Sand Hills. Owner Cody Schmick says the, the name of Kincaid Brewery has roots based out of the area. The Kincaid Act of 1904 was an extension of the Homestead Act which allowed each bona fide settler 640 acres of the Sand Hills for a filing fee of $14. So uh, Teddy Roosevelt actually signed it into law uh, Moses Kincaid from O'Neill, Nebraska was the one that kind of championed that. But it was a wild time in our very local history here and it was very specific to Broken Bow and the Sand Hills right here. Um, so we, uh, we wanted something that uh, was really a throwback to our local history here and Dan came up with Kincader. Uh, we started talking about it, we all liked the name and uh, it worked great. Growing their own ingredients will be a big part of Kincaider Brewery's beers. You know, we've talked a lot about that and, and um, the, the uh, agritourism. You know, we're kind of taking a page out of like Max Creek and Maletta Vista and some of these farm wineries. Um, but there's not really a farm brewery uh, in Nebraska. And so we're kind of taking a page out of these guys' book. Um, and, and so I think it's going to bring folks in from the outside, but it's also going to give our locals something that they can be very proud of. Um, you know, one of the cool things about us is uh, we're going to be growing a lot of our ingredients right here on our farm. Uh, honey, wheat, corn, we, we're even talking barley at some point. Uh, um, so, so to be able to do that all right here in Custer County, um, I, I think people are going to be very proud of Kincaider Brewing and uh, they're on board with us, so it's been a good experience. Schmick urges people to make the trip from the Grand Island area. Grand Island is actually lacking in the microbrewery. There, there's not one there right now. Uh, so we actually, we want to make Grand Island one of our target markets because there is nothing there. I'm guessing at some point that will happen. Uh, but we feel like, I'm actually uh, from Grand Island, I lived there for several years and worked there. Um, and so I think, um, you know, putting myself back in Grand Island's shoes and living there, just thinking this, uh, this brewery, this concept, um, if you ever get a chance to try our beers, that's going to bring you out here. Uh, and just for the fact that it's something totally different that people around here are, are used to, people in Grand Island are used to, and it's something that, uh, it's a destination. Make a weekend out of it. Come visit us in Scratchtown the same weekend in Ord. Reporting for Grand Island Independent, I'm Zach Mayhew.